Thank you, Mr. President, dear Commissioner, dear colleagues. New technologies often bring enormous opportunities and benefits, but at the same time, we also see often that they provide new avenues for organized crime. It was true for the internet. It is certainly also true for artificial intelligence and machine learning. And at the same time, these technologies can also help us to have huge potential in helping the 1.5 million police officers in the EU to effectively fight crime. They can help in identifying criminals on the run. They can help forecasting criminal activity, and they can help us in finding counterfeit goods and currencies. And we need to look at that potential with an open mind and avoid a situation where criminals profit from AI, but law enforcement cannot use it to fight them. Yes, there are risks involved, and good, seas, good safeguards absolutely need to be in place. AI needs to be transparent and trustworthy. We need to make sure that using AI in the field of law enforcement will never compromise our values. But let's also not be naive, and let's not make the mistake to only focus on the risks and ignore completely the potential. Several colleagues have said it already, AI is here to stay, and its use will only grow in the coming years. And we only have to look at some countries outside the European Union to see what we should not be doing. We need a balanced approach. We need a European approach because innovation is in our European DNA, as is our ability to create artificial intelligence in a trustworthy, human-centered and valued-based way. Let that be our European trademark in the world, also for law enforcement applications. Thank you.